Do martial artists really experience pain differently? Well, scientists actually tested it, and it turns out we do. In 2016, researchers in Poland, led by Katarzyna Leznica, studied 321 men. 140 of them were martial artists, and 181 of them were non-athletes. And they took them through two tests. The first test was the cold presser test, where participants submerged their hand in near freezing water. And the second test was the pressure pain test, where a device pressed into the hand until it hurt. So what they found was that both groups felt pain at the same time, meaning that their pain threshold was the same. But the fighters, well, they endured that pain much longer, meaning that their pain tolerance was higher. In fact, the fighters lasted about 99 seconds compared to 86 seconds for non-athletes. And over 90% of the fighters withstood the maximum mechanical pressure versus just 57% of non-athletes. So why is that? Well, the study suggests that years of sparring and conditioning retrained the brain's pain circuits. Regular exposure activates the body's descending inhibitory system, which is our internal pain breaks. And psychologically, fighters learn to control focus and reframe pain as feedback, not threat. And remember, the study focused solely on men, which means that the results speak to how training changes pain tolerance, not how gender compares. Further, a study from the University of Heidelberg found something similar in endurance athletes. So their brains showed a stronger endogenous pain inhibition, meaning they could literally turn pain signals down. So fighters don't feel less pain, they've just learned to interpret it differently. Because pain, in the end, isn't just something to survive, it's something to understand.